If nothing attacks us in the night, then I guess we can disarm all these frag mines. Yes, and all these armed crutches. Yeah, it's pretty uneventful here. Not yeah. much happens except these uh, cannibals getting murdered. Yeah, I mean, some cannibals... What? New weapon, eh? I love that it literally has a milk bottle <laughs> yeah, in the, the front of it. Yeah, the barrel's going through it. And then it's just a tin can and a bunch of wire duct taped to a microfusion cell you yeah. transform around the back of it. That's how it works. Yep, that's that's how all weapons should work. Who the hell are you? Hey there. Hi. Hi. Hello, amicable person. Hello. Howdy. How's it going? Uh, this is your home now, I guess. Hey there. Have do fun. You, do you live here? He does now. Well, you're welcome for cleaning the place up for you. Have fun living in a dead motel. Yeah. You said you wanted to go to Cottonwood Cove? Yes, Cottonwood Cove. I forgot about that. Uh, before we go, why don't we check out the rest of this town? Or the remains of it. Yeah, we'll see if there's anybody left. No one in this house. Would you like an iron? Ooh, how big is it? Uh, Half as big as my Pip-Boy. Oh, it's not a very big iron, and I probably can't attach it to my hip. No. And then there's it's no... a medium iron. In that case, there's no pun value, and I'm not interested. For a second, I thought that, I thought that strange meat pie was a landmine. Like somebody <laughs> had just put a landmine on a plate. Sure. So. <laughs> Give you explosive diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, scrap oh, all the garbage. Yup, oh, we need all of these things. A lot of scrap, good for making weapon repair kits. Novak is a scrapper's paradise. There's also a scrapyard to the north we could raid. Yeah, we could go to old lady Gibson's place. Mm. Well, she's probably long dead now, but... We'll kill the cannibal that lives in her house. Yeah, exactly, because there certainly will be one. I, I find it funny that the first person we've met that didn't try to shoot us on sight and eat our bones... Aside from the caravan? Oh, yeah, aside from... I forgot about the caravan. Never mind. Okay. Tomb of Avernus? Uh, um, I'm pretty sure this is Novark's shack. Or the man formerly known as. Ow. Still booby trapped. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Watch your feet. Well, Novark's taste in music has definitely improved since he's been dead. Oh, I guess he's joined Caesar's Legion. I think maybe he just likes spears. I, well, why'd he put up a Legion flag then? Oh, did he? <laughs> oh, I did. I, I literally. I'm so used to seeing Legion flags, I don't even think about it anymore. Okay. <laughs> and totems, yes. A revered skeleton. Quintus Avernus' journal? Oh boy! We'll leave a sacrifice for the skeleton ourselves. <laughs> okay. I have to tithe properly. <laughs> yes. I am Quintus Avernus, and Centurion of Kaiser's Legion, and this is my journal. I have arrived with what remains of my forces in the town of Novak. Without any standing force and with the ranger station vacant, it was easy enough to take. I have ordered the crucifixion of all who resisted to make an example to the rest of the town. They were much more docile afterwards. For now, the previous citizens of this town are being kept prisoner until I can decide what to do with them. My force stood behind as a contingent when the legion was expelled off Hoover Dam. It seems that it ended up being a blessing in disguise a few years late. A few years later, and the entire Mojave is at the brink of extinction. NCR forces have abandoned most of their posts and bases have either evacuated or concentrated elsewhere. There are strange creatures roaming the land, or under it. As one unfortunate decanus of mine found during our encounter with them, they are humanoid with skin is green. With skin is green and reptilian? <laughs> yeah, with skin, skin is green. <laughs> they travel in packs. Oh, and their eyes are glowing. They travel in packs and are primal, savage. They focus on one singular prey in a group and rip their victim to shreds, then move on to the next one. I've made it a priority to establish guard posts and watch out for them, or any trespasser that may wander about. Our only problem is food. We simply don't have enough supplies to last more than a few days. Perhaps the past is the solution. My old tribe, the Sun Dogs, had a tradition before being assimilated, which the weaker warrior, after being con defeated, was condemned to strengthen his triumphant foe the only way he could. It is an option to consider. Cannibalism in this world? Not on my watch. 
The old forgotten tradition was the answer I sought after all. The first to experience it were the citizens we captured. They'd already fallen before us, and as such, there was no need to assess strength. It had been assessed already. They strengthened my men, some of whom showed reluctance at first, but soon were participating in the feast of the warrior. I'm insane and I continue to ramble. Ah! I am. Yep, well, I'm crazy now. We will emerge from this forsaken wasteland stronger than all. Maybe when we're strong enough, we can find our way to the Colorado and show the broken remains of the Legion our way. You have fun with that. Actually, I can use that for parts. Well, thank you, Quintus. There, I have one 20 gauge round now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and a bunch of junk rounds. Yep. All right, uh, to Cottonwood Cove. We'll check out Searchlight on the way down, I suppose. I feel like Searchlight is going to be a disaster. Possibly. What does the makeshift pulse repeater look like? That's what it looks like, apparently. Okay, then. All right, well, continuing on, I guess. We'll head to Cottonwood Cove through Searchlight. Stop by. Maybe maybe the radiation is dissipated. What is your obsession with Searchlight? I... I just want to check it out. I imagine there could be a lot of loot that we couldn't access previously because it was irradiated, and now maybe the radiation is gone. I'm sure it will be even more irradiated now. You don't know that. I do know that. Thankfully, your gun is doing so much oh, damage. Oh, they're evolved. Is that why your gun's so strong against them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This thing sucks. I, I'll deal with you in a second. There. All right. And then you unloaded into the Shintar. It was so much easier with the shotgun. Yes. Back away. Don't make me do this, Mr. Centaur. Why are you making me kill you? These things are just very hardy. A lot of health. A lot of oh. tanky enemies. Well, maybe I shouldn't have shot the ion weapon away. Oh, well. Too late now. You gotta go hunt it down? No. New quest. Find the ion gun you shot many, many miles away. Can they go through half your weapon's condition just to through these guys? Problems dealt with. A great centaur blood. <laughs> Hooray! Want to drink that? Maybe no. boil it? Make some... I don't know. It's a post-post-apocalypse wasteland, so every shot of ammo is going to count. Drops a fully functional weapon on the ground. <laughs> shoots it with a perfectly good 12-gauge round just to spite it. Yes! Almost like you're not taking the survival scenario seriously. Because survival's dumb. Is it the 5.56 five, ammo? Yeah. Oh, a normal centaur. Hello. No, please. I want to live. Oh. I didn't have thick skin like my brethren. I'm glad we've murdered that man. Thing. Me too. Oh my god! Oh hey, we found a whole bunch of tunnelers! That's a night we stumbled right into their nest! Great! Good stuff! You're immune to shrapnel, right? Fire on my position! Ow! Wow, that was a that was just a massive amount of tunnelers. Oh no, I think one of them got a bite on me! Oh, I can feel the poison coursing through my veins! You don't have veins. Oh, I'm probably safe then. I think so. Wait, are you water cooled? I don't think so. Okay, good, good. Because if you were water cooled, then you might be poisoned. Because the toxin might coagulate my water. Yeah, the water that you, or I guess liquid cooled. Hey, look, a few more of these guys. Yeah. Ooh, watch out, that one's pretty big. There's where there's one. Ow, there's many. Ow. <laughs> there's quite a few. Yeah, we should have stayed on the road. I don't know why you insisted on going through the wilderness. That's where they live. <laughs> You're going back the way we came. Yeah, I'm go going back to get on the road. Okay. <laughs> because at least on the road, yes, there's still hostile enemies on the road, but at least they're just like shitty malnourished humans that go down in one pistol shot. Fair enough. What is this? Oh, it's Mr. Radical's home. Oh, is this the is this Clark Field, the home of Mr. Mr. Radical. Radical? Yeah, I can't wait to see what monstrosities took over his lane. Oh, uh, yeah, it's it's more tunnelers. Never Let's mind. not go there then. I don't want to go there. Scorpion, better watch out to your left now. Scorpion, shoot him in the face now. Bam, 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 bam. Here I am. Hurricane! That other songs, you know. Name one. 
No. Because you can't think of one. All you can think of is here I am, Rocky like a hurricane. Uh, are you disputing my claim that they had other sounds? What about Welcome to the Jungle? I don't think that's Scorpions. Welcome to the Jungle. We got fun and games. That's ACDC. Is it? <laughs> I wish I got more positive reinforcement in my life. You're doing a good job killing these things, Zach. Hello. You're going to try to kill... You are just... Howdy. <laughs> How's it going? Just a friendly guy drinking a beer out here. I don't know. I don't... Survive with a 22. He's either completely insane or he knows something we don't because he is still alive. He looks quite healthy. Drinking beer and soda. He's not green. <laughs> yeah. He's... He doesn't have any human meat on him. Yeah. Except for the ones on his bones. Yeah, that, I mean, he's got that. Um... I don't have human meat either. Hey. hey. Searchlight, we gotta be getting close. I see a lot of radiation warnings. That, what the? Is that a ghoul wearing power armor? Whoa, whoa, that was a <sighs> missile. Who fired me? Okay. Oh, that... good, the Brotherhood of Steel is here. Whoa, geez. The Brotherhood took over Searchlight in our absence? Yup. I guess if there was any group that was gonna pacify the monsters here, it would have to be the Brotherhood dressed in their radiation proof suits. Unfortunately, the Brotherhood might still have a vendetta against us for the way we blew up their bunker many years ago. They might be a little annoyed. Or maybe it's just that everyone in this post-apocalypse is completely crazy. Yes, brain parasites or something. Ah. Why don't we circumnavigate this place? I, we can try to- You wanted to come here! I did before I knew the Brotherhood was here. God! This is making me reevaluate my decision. Power armor training is required. Yep. We never learned. What can I say? We were too eager to blow up the Brotherhood bunker last time. Yeah. Oh, well, not wearing power armor. Searchlight doesn't seem to be radioactive anymore, but I also feel like we probably don't want to be here. Well, if it's not radioactive and we've already killed everybody. We have not killed everybody. Uh, we could kill anyone who's left still. Ooh, you bringing a missile launcher indoors? I'm sure that won't backfire. Hey. Oh, it's going to go great. Only front fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only half your limbs got broken in the first shot. Only half. Yeah. Hi. Oh, the grand. Yes. No, it's a grand 50. Penetrate right? his armor with the Fire. grand. Ah, concussion grenade to knock yeah. it out. <laughs> well, he was already dead, so that's helpful. <laughs> testing, testing. This is Scribe Huxley transmitting from Fort Searchlight. Ah, they must have made this fort searchlight. Is the radio working in, in working condition? Over. Hear you loud and clear, Huxley. Can't believe this thing actually works. A few extra bits and pieces and we'll have this thing up and ready for scouting flights. Over. Excellent news, Initiate. Over and out. And then a few days later. This is Scribe Huxley transmitting from Fort Searchlight. What are your coordinates, Eagle Patrol? Over. Just north of you. Seen some uh, human activity. Well armed. Doesn't look like tribals. Over. NCR question mark over. Could be. They've got the armor, but that's hardly enough for the. That's hardly enough these days. They could be going straight for the main bridge. Should we intercept? Over. You have clearance for interception. Take them out. Over. Over and out. And then they tried to attack that group. The NCR remain outside the fort, but Paladin Ramsey wants to leave them for now. They keep the tunnelers at bay, if nothing else. The hostage we took claims that the NCR still holds control over the dam, Camp Golf, and Nellis Airfield. Nellis holds no interest for us. We've got our own planes here. The dam's the dam. In theory, its electricity generating capacities could prove useful, but an assault there would be impractical. Even in the NCR's weakened state, we would be unable to take the dam. Camp Golf, though. The hostage mentions, mentions something interesting about that camp. Apparently, they have clean water. Don't ask me how. The hostage was completely useless in that respect. A water purifier of some sort? Such a machine would prove invaluable for use here. Well, I mean, mm. they've, got, they've got Lake Mead. Assuming it hasn't dried up, you know. Yeah. This is the hostage. Must have been. Oh, it's where, it's a king. Chances are Jim ain't the one in power armor. Might be he's holed up somewhere nearby. Why don't you take a poke around the edge of town? Meet me back at the farmstead. Uh, then they got captured or something. 
I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's a lady, so that's not a king. Um, never, you don't know. Maybe the king's it, it enlisted the help of women. Oh. Or maybe this is the hostage who is dead now and whose armor you stole. Or maybe that is the hostage who's already naked. No, that's a tribal. Okay. Uh, we can check a few more buildings around here. And there's there's a, a little bit more around here, and I know there's an airfield. But I'm <laughs> wondering, yep, they're probably all going to be at the airfield. Hey, you found somebody! Hey, he's got a flamethrower! You fool, that doesn't hurt! I got no flesh to sear! <laughs> yes, throw a concussion! Oh, that's not improper. No, these are, these are frag grenades. Oh, okay, okay. I can't tell, they all look like hot garbage to me. Oh yeah, they're all terrible! Oh, I probably could have just turned them off. Whoops. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, uh, I know law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear, but still, Mike, how does it make you feel killing your own kind? What? Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Do not attempt to flee. Robots Whoa! in the firehouse! Robots in the firehouse! No people here, so go ahead and kill one ton of band, and it's totally ethical to slaughter them all. Pow! Okay, so there is more. What's inside the fire uh -huh. station? Whoa! Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Come on! Pipe bomb! Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm gonna reset! Boys, boys! Yeah, I got them, don't worry. Did it go off? <laughs> no. They were cluster, uh, I guess, landmines. Oh, uh, okay. Anything useful in the Brotherhood hideout? D in, the, in the what now? Brotherhood hideout. Oh, okay. <laughs> it came out really weird. The Brotherhood hideout? Yeah, I like that. Property of Paladin Ramsey. Entry 46B. I can recognize the markings on the wall. If that old fool McNara wants to stick his head in the sand and hide from it, he can rot in hell. I'm not going to. Our scouts told us the NCR have been working on some kind of cloud. Apparently a bioweapon that they simply stumbled upon when visiting the Sierra Madre. That old legend turned stone. The tribal we captured, part of an expeditionary force, said a white-haired old man in robes, calling himself Father, guarded by ghosts with glowing green eyes, gave them the gift of the cloud. What? And that his young disciple taught them how to use it. Oh good, they weaponized the cloud from the, the Sierra Madre, that's great. Elijah better not be back, I swear to God. Elijah. It has to be. Who else could take control of the Sierra Madre? Who else could be so obsessed, so stubbornly efficient as to tame the city of the dead? Did they misspell obsessed? Y yes. <laughs> But McNamara won't listen. He personally oversaw the interrogation, heard that damned savage tell us about the power of the cloud, saw him detonate the cyanide capsule when he was unrambling, and he still won't believe what's coming. Says that we'll be safe from any gas. That our filters, our secrecy will protect us. But I know better. This isn't a bunker, it's a cage. A coffin, a trap he wants to willingly stay in. I knew Elijah. He wouldn't give any secret of the Sierra Madre to the NCR if he wasn't planning something. Or if he didn't know, they will destroy themselves with it. Elijah is the type of man that gives you a loaded gun only if he expects you to shoot yourself in the head with it and rigs it to explode if you don't. This bunker won't stop him. We need to move, but McNamara won't listen. I knew a few who think the same. I'll try to discover whom, then we'll leave. And this the, oh man, this is going on for a while. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So okay. basically, it looks like he split off from the main faction, left the main f force McNamara in the Hidden Valley, and yeah. then moved out here. I mean, personally, I could have sworn we killed every single Brotherhood in that bunker and then blew yeah, it up. Yeah, we did. But maybe they survived. Very well. Very well. Unless this is a weird alternate timeline. Quite possible. Oh. Hello. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> hey! Hey, buddy! You know, that's an adequate response to a home invader. That is. Yeah, I just whip out a fucking flamethrower. Ah! <laughs> no, you were supposed to stay down there so I could throw <sighs> this dynamite at you. Oh, he picked up the flamethrower from his fallen comrade. Brilliant. Marvelous. Good. I blew up the radio. I was playing Marty Robbins. There might be something here. Brotherhood flags! Oh, yep. Brotherhood found the bunker. Oh. Storage area. Hello. They killed her! Use your face laser, Zack! I don't have a face laser! Oh, that God. sounds like a personal problem. That was my last grand 50 round. Alright. Current inventory, uh, unknown. 
Scrap. Oh, this is Huxley. Hi, it's me. I'm Huxley. A good amount of tech was left behind when the NCR cleared out. These turrets are still in excellent condition, and there are even some small arms lying around. By itself, this is a decent spot for a base, but I know why we're really here. Ramsey's been eyeing the airport ever since we got here. I'm not sure what kind of low-rate tech he thinks he's going to find there, but I don't think he'd have come all this way for anything else. So he wants to go to the airport. I've just finished registering the casualties in Hidden Valley. Took a copy of the personnel register before I left. I knew it would be the only way to identify all those who died. We all knew before embarking in this trip, our brothers and sisters would be goners when the NCR eventually tried to touch the sun and had the wax from their wings melted. But no one expected it to happen this fast. Half of us still hoped they saw reason and followed us after. But it seems not. Our second scout arrived two days ago, a day after the bearer of bad news. The infamous boomers have also been taken out. Of course, Paladin Ramsey took that moment to rant about how the NCR were monsters, how they had created the dust storm. The others rejected my claims, but I swear to you, the NCR are not the sole enemy here. The problem is, the NCR were hit just as hard. They lost the entire strip, for God's sakes. Not to mention Helios 1 and Forlorn Hope. If this thing was made by man, as we suspect, it must have been someone else. Someone to take out any faction remaining after the storm came on through. And I think I know who that someone is. I'll need to keep my theory to myself. There's no need to add to the grief the chance that one of our own killed us with such ruthless efficiency. Or the chance that he might know of us and come after us next. Yeah, I already read the other log. It, it was uh, Father Elijah, I guess. It probably Well, we don't know if it was Elijah. He's probably still alive. He probably survived. No, there's no way it's Father Elijah. It can't be. Okay. It can't, Mike, it can't be Father Elijah. It can't be Father Elijah, got it. And you know why? What's that? Because they, they, there's no way they could get the voice actor for Father Elijah to come back for this month. Okay. <laughs> but you know what? Father Elijah could have left a bunch of notes. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe he just left his whole his whole complicated backstory in a bunch of notes. <laughs> yeah, we already knew. About was... how, I, I, you left me for dead, Courier, <laughs> and I'm going to put a bomb collar on your neck, and I'm going to do... Do you want to play a game? I'm gonna do a really bad saw impersonation, and you're gonna to have to cut off your own head to save your own feet. Well, I I don't remember there being anything of note at the Searchlight Airport last time, so I don't know what kind of tech the Brotherhood would have looted. Uh, there were a bunch of scorpions that you kept spawning in. I, I guess I did. Hey, look, more scorpions! Yay, scorpions! I'm glad that part hasn't changed. Ah, yeah. Fighting scorpions with a shovel! Yes, that's actually not a bad idea, except these are giants, so it's a horrible idea. Ah, point blank grenades. Brilliant, brilliant. Can you even get in this? It looks like it's all no, rubble. No, there's not even... Yo, yeah, I've been eyeing the airport. The the rubble? <laughs> it was, it's been a mess for a long time. Wow, a pool cue. Wow, man, I sure am glad we came all the way out here. Yup, quite the journey for uh, absolutely no benefit. You can't get into any of these buildings. Just wasted a bunch of ammo, deteriorated the condition on my shotgun. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Guess we should have kept on reading Paladin Huxley's terminal. Entry log 527. Yeah, Ramsey came back, said they ain't shit at the Searchlight Airport, so we ain't gonna do anything about it. Whatever, to Cottonwood Cove. Surely there will be good things at Cottonwood Cove. You keep saying that. Eventually, it's going to be true. No, it won't. Why are you ever happy about anything? Just I be miserable. Try and look at the positive side Just of things. Just be like me. Be miserable. Because Every single day. I'm happy. Because I'm happy. Every day is a gift. No, every day is a curse. Little angsty today, because you're stuck in a post-apocalyptic hellhole. Yeah, no, I just hate searchlight. That's fair. We're leaving. Everyone in the entire world, just let you know, the tunnelers are only ever by themselves. Hey, everybody. Sax got a weird penis. If he wants to disprove that claim, it's on him to disprove it. Nobody's going to believe that.